Hi guys! Um, this week for Valentine's Day, I bought my boys a flower craft kit for kids, and I got this on Amazon, um, but it made me think um, we could do the same thing and not get the box. Uh, you could just get some, some pieces from your craft store, or maybe even things that you've got at home. So I'm going to show you how to do the craft, and then I'm going to tell you what you could use at home to do the same thing and not buy the kit. So the kit comes with buttons, and it comes with these little flower cutouts, and it comes with uh, wires to make the stems. It also comes with a, um, a glass jar and some double-sided tape and some, um, some like juke um, yarn type thing that you can wrap that. But we're not gonna talk about those today because that's not my favorite part of this craft. Um, like I said, I got this for my boys. Of course, they're not really into flowers and things like that, so I got it for them so that they can make some flowers for me for Valentine's Day. So um, I would love to see, I can't wait to see what they come up with, and I would love to see what you guys come up with too. So the way that this works is you take the wire and you stick it through the buttonholes, and you pull the button all the way up. And then you take the little flower part and you stick the wires, both ends of the wires, through the same hole. On the button, you have to make sure to get them in the two separate holes. But on the flower, there's just one hole. And then you pull the flower all the way up and you make sure that you want to leave that space so that the flower stays up. Because if you squish it right next to the flower, the flower will slide all the way down. So you need to leave that space and then you just twist it. And then once you make a whole bunch of them, you put them together in the jar and you have a beautiful bouquet of these, these, um, these button flowers that all look different. See, here's one that I made earlier. And you just have a whole bunch of them, like, like on here. But what I was thinking was, if you have some um, buttons at home, maybe, um, a grandmother or a great-grandmother or even a great-great-grandmother left you a, a cookie tin that is full of buttons that they kept, that would be a special way to keep, the, keep those buttons and make something beautiful out of them. Now maybe you don't have that kind, but you could go and buy a bunch of buttons. They have them. Um, you could get some at the, the dollar store. You can often find them at places like uh, Walmart. They'll have them or craft stores. Um, so you can go and find some special buttons. Um, you can use any color you want. And then these are a little bit specially cut. But you could cut your own. You can make them out of paper if it's something that you don't want to keep for, but you just want to make for a little bit. Or you could get some felt or some fun foam. And you don't have to do the special flower if, you're, if you don't want to detail it that much. You could just cut circles and poke a hole in the circles. And you could make the little flowers just like in the kit. So I hope you guys have fun making, and I hope that you guys share with me the things that you make. So have a great week. I'll see you again soon.